free speech and access to information are the very touchstones of a university education. At least they used to be. Today, there's a growing trend to silence opinion, even facts, that so much as offend the gatekeepers of the status quo, even right here in Canada. But today, this closed-minded approach might affect even more than young people's fundamental rights and freedoms. It could have severe negative consequences on their health. Canadian University's newest target, a pro-information documentary called Hush, which takes a thorough scientific look at women's health in relation to abortion. Let me set the scene for you. Hush is an award-winning documentary which premiered at the Beverly Hills La Femme International Film Festival. It's a women's festival that has as its positioning statement, films by women that everyone should see. It's also been honored with a gold award at the World Documentary Awards. I've watched this film. It's refreshing, if not wholly unprecedented, because, well, it looks at the subject of abortion from neither a pro-life or a pro-choice position, but rather, well, it systematically reviews the claims of health issues around abortion from a pro-woman and pro-information standpoint. If anything, the film's director, Poonam Gill, a highly educated Albertan, well, she's described herself as being pro-choice. So today, Hush Documentary coordinators are on tour across Canadian university campuses with their film before its release in theaters this fall. They want to show it to young people, young women on these campuses, so that they can have all the information that they need, the information that they should get, but for some reason don't, in the event they decide to get an abortion, something that they are free to do in this country. So they went to the University of Manitoba to talk about women's health in the context of abortion on a university campus. Okay, they only had two rules. One, no politics. Two, no religion. And guess what? A hundred percent of the people who showed up when surveyed said that they loved the film, no matter which side of the debate they were coming from. Amazing what happens when you present information to young people and let them think for themselves. The problem is not everyone is so keen on doing so. The next college campus on their tour was the University of Winnipeg. So after Hush coordinators had their campus contacts book a room, post scores of flyers around campus grounds, and when their high profile guest speaker was already en route by a plane from New York, this email from the University of Winnipeg's club Global College landed in the Hush inbox. They canceled the movie screening, citing, quote, internal confusion and misunderstanding. Well, just sounds like a logistical problem, right? Which could be excusable, if not totally inconvenient. Except one day before the original movie screening, which, by the way, was scheduled to take place fittingly on International Women's Day, just one day before, Hush coordinators received another email that cited the university's true motive for canceling the movie. According to the University of Winnipeg's event coordinator, it was the film's content that made the president's office uncomfortable. That's the real reason why the screening would no longer be hosted on university grounds. A documentary which interviews leading scientists from across the globe, doctors, journalists, and women who have actually undergone abortions, and considers the metadata analysis around correlations between breast cancer and, and premature births with abortion. That makes a university president uncomfortable. So there, end of story, end of debate. Well, not if we here at the rebel.media have anything to say about it. We believe in free speech. We believe in access to information. And we will defend women's health. And I hope you will too. Join us by visiting accesstoinformation.ca and sign our petition to the University of Winnipeg. Let the president know that women's health is more important than ideology and that young women considering abortion should receive apolitical, scientific facts about the procedures they might choose to undergo. Demand the university reverses their decision. By signing this petition, you will stand with women by standing up to a university that says they get to decide what information women can have access to, just because they feel uncomfortable. And one more thing, if you want to get a little bit more involved with the documentary more directly and have a chance to view it yourself, head to www.hushfilm.com. Dot com, where you can learn more about their project and crowdfunding endeavors. 
don't forget to share this link, access to information.ca, with your family, your friends, and fellow freedom fighters. Thanks so much for your support.